Yo, what's up guys and welcome to uh, today's unboxing which is a Samsung wireless charger, a fast wireless charger um, with stand and travel adapter. So I got this free in the UK with um, my pre-order of the Galaxy Note 9. Uh, other, com other countries got free TVs and two, two phones for the price of one but here we got a free wireless charger. All gifts Samsung are to us in the UK, but there you go. So, let's get this open. Scissors. Have to excuse all the kids in the background shouting. So let's have a look at the uh, the base. Stay in the obvious black protective film over the front there. Take that off a minute. Nice and grippy. Rubberized right in the middle here, and this ring. Um, little indicator LED at the front there. Uh, micro USB by the looks of it at the back and it's like some ventilation I'm guessing there's a fan inside keep it cool not too sure of the specifications of this one uh, I wonder if it says on the adapter so we've got it's a genuine Samsung adapter with it, it says Adaptive fast charging on there. I ain't got a clue what that says on there. I ain't got my glasses. So some people don't realise that uh, not all of these chargers actually come with a plug like this and a lead. Some you have to utilise the one that comes in the box originally, um, which can be a bit of bit of a pain if you want to charge it up even faster by plugging the phone directly that means you've got one plug it from there um, so bear that in mind when you are buying them they don't all come like this I personally would rather get one with that then you've got two uh, ways of then charging it you can keep one you know another place in the house or at the office um, so you get the lead with it, as I said. Let's have a look at that. One thing I've just realized, which is a bit strange, we've got a white lead, white plug, black charger. Bit cheap, but there you go. So the lead is, well, I'd say that's a good meter. Good meter along that, which simply, We'll connect it in the back here, he says. Which way up is it? Upside down. There we go. So yeah, looks a bit odd with the white lead coming out of the back. I don't know if I'm too keen on that. I mean, I'm sure it won't affect how it charges, but aesthetically, I think they could have at least put a black lead in the box. Um, even if the actual plug itself was white. But that just looks a bit, yeah, naff, to be honest. I mean, you buy black because you want black, don't you, really? If you wanted a white one, you would have bought a white one. So what, what I'll do now, I'll go and uh, plug it in in the kitchen. And we'll try it out with my Galaxy Note 9. My partner's uh, Note 8. Maybe even try the uh, Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Right, so here we are in the kitchen. Finishing off like this. UK one, you've got to push that up like that. Put that in the back. Simple enough. Plug it in. Turn it on. 
right flashing light there and now that's gone off bring the camera down a bit right so let's first try it with a let's move the, you guys around a bit then there we go that's better a Galaxy no 8 with no case, blue light, and yep, confirmation of fast charging on that one. Let's try it with a case on now, quite a slim case this. Again, blue light confirmation of fast charging. Now, not everyone knows, but probably stating the obvious, but you can also put it that way round. Again, light comes on, confirmation of the fast charging. So, yeah, either way round. So, what I will do now is try the Mate 20, I think. Should I say Mate 20 Pro? Just pop that one on there. Straight away, fast charging confirmed. Let's try it in the other orientation. Again, works perfectly fine. Seems to come up a lot quicker on the uh, Mate 20 Pro than it does on the uh, Samsungs, which is strange seeing it's a, ch a Samsung charger. Uh, right now, what I'll do is try it with my Galaxy Note 9 with a really thick case on it. So I've got a swap over now. Right, so uh, final device is my Galaxy Note 9. First with no case. Again, confirmation of it first while it's charging. Way around, yeah, perfectly fine there. And now, with a genuine Samsung case, really thick. As I said in a previous video, you probably won't get much thicker than this for a case. So, if it works with this, then it's going to work with anything, quite frankly. Yeah, again, perfectly fine there. Just one last time, the other orientation. Yeah, and that's all good. Even with a big metal stand on the back, doesn't seem to have any problems whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And uh, if you did, please like and subscribe and join me for the next one. Cheers.